All right, y'all, a new secret setting in NBA 2K22 that's sure to make you guys play better defense. What's good, All City fam? I'm All City, and thank you guys for tuning in. I would like to mention, if you guys are looking for players to run with on NBA 2K22, come on out and join our Discord. We'd love to have you. Now, we're not fitting to waste much time on this. I'm going to tell you guys about this setting ASAP so we can explain why this setting has changed in NBA 2K22 and why this particular setting is much more beneficial for your defense as opposed to previous versions of 2K let's get right into it we're gonna go into our options and then we're gonna scroll down to controller settings and then we're gonna go all the way down to where it says defensive assist strength as you guys see i got mines jacked up max level 100 percent and this is the very first 2k that i ever considered maxing it out i want to show you guys very quickly the defensive attributes on my build a 94 perimeter defense a 96 steel this is my two-way pass first lockdown build that i used to play lockdown defense in pro and i use this build as the primary on ball defender now a lot of players have concerns about sliding on defense a lot of players also are concerned with not getting as many body ups as they should receive during my trials and tribulations running the lockdown position as the primary on ball defender i noticed i wasn't getting as many clamp up and body up animations that i was supposed to get considering my high level of defensive badge count i would be standing right in front of my defender and he'd walk right by me without even committing to any type of dribble Move. i knew something was wrong now in every other 2k before nba 2k 22 i would have my defensive assist strength to like 15 anywhere from 0 to 15 but to help you guys understand why that was important is because in previous 2ks ball handlers were able to abuse ankle breaker animation so whenever you guys pressed l2 if you guys don't know in order to activate your defensive assist strength this happens when you go into intense defense while pressing your left trigger and nine times out of 10 in previous versions of 2k if you press your left trigger and a ball handler activates an ankle breaker animation you're stumbling to the ground but defenders have a ton more freedom in nba 2k 22 because there aren't nearly as many ankle breaker animations and there are not nearly as many ball handlers running ankle breaker or space creator to get ankle breaker animations it's a different game on both offense and defense primary ball handlers are more so focused on creating the space to take their shot or take their drive so the good majority of ball handlers have recognized very quickly that they're not getting nearly as many ankle breaker animations so they reallocate their playmaking badge points this is primarily due to ankle braces doing such a good job of eliminating those ankle breakers for the ball handler but this also gives on ball defenders the opportunity to take advantage of defensive assist strength which will in turn give you guys more clamp up animations and body up animations when a ball handler is near you as a defender and you're activating your intense defense by pressing your left trigger i only considered the option of maxing this out because of what i was noticing already with my lockdown defender with a ton of defensive attributes and a ton of defensive badges and ball handlers just sliding right by my defender like as if it wasn't even there not getting nearly as many clamp up or body animations as i expected to receive with this type of defender build so as i often do i've been running defensive assists either on zero up to 15 this whole entire year i said well let me max it out completely and see if i notice a difference i feel like that's the best way to test if you can see a difference by going from very low to max there should be a noticeable difference in gameplay whether it's good or bad you should see a difference but what i noticed for my build is that it was a favorable difference i was getting way more clamp up animations way more body up animations and we're playing at the elite level in pro am playing good on board defense is a balance between your knowledge of ball handler movements in other words the dribble and animations that a ball handler can commit to playing good on ball defense also has to do with how you manage pressing your left trigger button and how you manage pressing your right trigger button for turbo i'll offer you guys a quick little gem you press the left trigger when you already understand the speed boosting animation and you're playing the correct side on a speed boost animation the ball handler will collide right into you as long as you're playing the correct side and press left trigger left trigger is basically to stabilize your defender so if your intention is to move on defense you want to let go of that left trigger the next gem is managing your turbo in a half court set you shouldn't even have to press turbo you should make minor adjustments with your left stick and you're only pressing turbo if you intend to get into position early or you're trailing behind a defender and you need to catch up. hopefully this clears up everything about defensive assist strength in nba 2k 22 keep in mind that is very different from previous versions 
of 2K because of the limitation on ankle breaker animations. If you guys end up trying to increase your defensive assist strength, come back to this video. Let me know how it worked out for you. I hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative. And if you did, please consider dropping a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as we intend to have a ton of 2K22 content coming your way. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all.